Good morning, BHV. Welcome to day 11, yeah, day 11 of the mini golf road trip. Today, we're spending the day kind of in the outskirts of Chicago. We're not gonna go down into the city today. We're kind of waiting and gonna play that kind of as the days go, but we're on mini golf adventures today. There's so many mini golf courses all over the Chicago area. So again, we're not going into the city today. We're we'll checking out the courses that are all over the surrounding area. So we found a few of them. They're actually open in the morning. And it's only 11 o'clock and it's 86 degrees outside, so we're hoping to get started a little early just to beat the heat. But because it's a weekday and the kids are still in school as of filming this, most places don't open until later in the day. So we're gonna be braving the heat today, but it's gonna be a good day. We're going exploring, gonna find a lot of cool places. Let's do it, let's start the vlog. All right, stop number one, we'll turn it down for a second. All right, stop number one was a success. We're actually at a park here. I don't know what the name of this park is, but the mini golf course was Riverview Mini Golf. And literally, I don't know if you can see it in the background, we're on the river right now outside Chicago. I think we're in West Chicago technically, but it's a different town name, like Geneva or Hennevar or something like that. But we're, I saw a sign coming in here that said we were passing through into West Chicago. But it was cool, literally it's a mini golf course they built into this massive park. It's really hot and like it was just like a lot of slides and like kids playing like fields and stuff like that. So we didn't really walk around, but the course was really good. It was like a mini golf course. You guys will see it tomorrow. It was actually pretty cool. And the fact that the river is right here, and you can kind of see it right there. There's like paddle boats and they go down the river and you can like get on it. I don't know what it costs to do it, but we saw one pulling in and people were on jet skis going through the river and stuff. So it's pretty cool. But now I think we're gonna go try some food at a place that is like Chicago based. You can get it here. I think they have like LA and stuff. I think it's called Portillo's. I believe that's what it's called. I know they're known for hot dogs, but neither of us really eat hot dogs. They have other stuff. We're gonna go over there and check it out because we're starving. It's really hot out, and then we're gonna go to our next course after that. But so far, first place for Chicago was actually really solid. Also, saw somebody that had two, two really furry and fuzzy German Shepherds. They're very cute. That's your annual dog, that's your dog update for right now. If we see any more, we'll keep you posted. Oh yeah, Portillo's. Again, I've heard so many good things about this place. The building looks awesome. And I've heard so many good things about it. Even our people that are hosting us at our Airbnb said, you gotta go try this place. I'm looking forward to this a lot. Also, they have a revolving door, so I'm definitely gonna take this. Whenever there's a revolving door, you gotta take it. You gotta take it. Oh my goodness. This looks so, so good. And also, this is a small malt. I forgot to try while I was here. I got a burger, fries, at least you got chicken and a salad. I thought the small was gonna be a lot smaller than this. I cannot imagine what the large is, but we're gonna eat all this. I'll let you guys know what we think afterwards we're starving. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Oh my God, that was so good. That's the first time I've ever gone to, I don't know what you consider this, it's not really fast food, but it's got a drive through so it's kind of fast food. It's the first time I've been to a place, I was basing this off of other like Culver's type restaurants I've been to, so I got a double burger. I couldn't even finish it, it was too much meat in that burger for me to finish, but oh my God. So now I know, because we're definitely gonna come back here before we leave Chicago, yeah, 100%. That was, very good. That was so good. would be all about this place. And this malt right here okay. is amazing. Like, mm, so, so creamy. But now, we got food in our bellies. It's 90 degrees outside. It's getting hot really fast. But that was amazing. We'll definitely want to go back and get that again. Like, maybe get a little less food. Maybe I'll get a little less food, but it was so good. But from here, there's another mini golf course that I think is also on the river that we're gonna go check out. Like, I, there's a ton of parks, I'm realizing. Like, Chicago, and we're not even in technically Chicago. We're in West Chicago. But Hennevah, I believe, still is the name of actually where we are. Or Geneva, I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyway. A lot of parks in the area, which I like, that's cool. And a lot of mini golf courses at the parks, which is really cool. So we're gonna head to one right now, go check it out, and then go from there. But that was amazing. A little bit of a change of plans. So we drove to the mini golf course. It said it was open on Google Maps. Note to self, call yourself and make sure that the Google Maps hours are right. We got there and it said closed. So I called and they're like, oh no, we don't open until like six o'clock or we're just up on the weekends. And then like starting in the beginning of June, then they're open every day. Didn't know that. So we drove like 35 minutes the other direction. Now I think we're like way south of Chicago now. Check it out, this is more of a chain, kind of like ones we went to just like the Congo River ones I mentioned before. This is called Lost Adventure or Lost Treasure, something like that. I know it's a bigger chain because I've seen them before. We're gonna check it out while we're right here. It looks like fun. This is kind of one of those things where the holes aren't anything crazy or different. They're not really unique because it's a chain, but they're always solid. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna check this out. It's actually fairly busy. I called just to make sure they were open. And they're like, are you busy? And they're like, no, not really. And then we get here and there's people waiting at every single hole. So usually when that's the case, we always try to wear, this is a little behind the scenes, we always try to wear the good microphones, like the ones you can hear us really well, but when it's super busy, we really can't wear them because of the way the videos record. So if you ever wonder if we're not using the fancy lapel, like good audio clear sounding mics and just the one that's from far away, 
that's the reason why is because if it's too busy we can't wear them which is probably gonna be the case for this course so we try to do it as little as possible but when it's cases like this we just have to do it and it kind of just comes with it but we're gonna go in check it out and then go from there tonight we're going to a place that i can't wait for you guys to see it's a really cool course one of the biggest ones on the trip i think we're gonna have but till then we're gonna play this one and it's 91 degrees outside so it's gonna be a little bit hot all right so that course is actually surprisingly fun it was a lot better than the Congo one we did, like I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, so a few days ago. A lot more fun than that. It was actually a good time. But now, actually, funny story. We were talking to the guy that we paid. Like, I asked him to break some change because there's a lot of toll roads here, and I don't have any change. So I need to get some change so I don't get billed for that. So I talking to him. He asked where we were from. He said Nashville. He actually went to the same church that Matthew West did, if you follow music and stuff like that in the Christian industry, before he moved to Nashville and became, well, Matthew West. So that was kind of cool. But now, to try to beat traffic, because we came in yesterday little after three o'clock three maybe 3 30 in traffic you guys kind of i don't know if i showed it or not but it was insane and they told us when we were checking the airbnb that traffic is like from 3 30 to 7 7 30 every day traffic's just ridiculous so we have a meeting for a course we're going to play at which we're super super excited about one of the probably the biggest and most look forward to for both of us on the trip at 5 30 and it's about 45 minutes away so we have basically an hour and a half to kill but with how bad traffic is we just don't know what to do and then want to sit in traffic for that long trying to get up there so we're gonna head that way now. I think it's in Lincolnshire, which is north of Chicago. So we might drive past the skyline. You guys can see that, which will be pretty cool. We're gonna head north, check all that out, and we'll up to, update you guys when we get there. And also, thank you to Alicia for the camera because I do not trust myself trying to vlog while driving in Chicago because the drivers here are kind of insane. So, nice Roush Mustang in front of me though. Target, I see you. It's like you knew we were coming. Actually, this is pretty sweet. That is huge. That is a massive coffee cup. Look at uh, Alicia. Minnie's just like, she's chilling. That's pretty hardcore. Oh, Mickey is too. That's actually pretty cool, I like that. I guess a side note, so basically we have like an hour and a half to kill before we can go play that mini golf course later. So we decided to stop at Target because we've heard they have a bunch of Disney stuff that they added and we haven't got to see any of it yet. So I figured we'd come today, since we're just bored and had nothing to do, check it out. Man, they really thought of everything. A little loofah. You can get a Mickey sponge. I don't know what this is. Is it bubble bath? Blackberry bubble bath. Yep. Bath gel, bath bombs, towel, face mask. They've literally caught, thought of everything. Okay, I'll, Disney, I'll give it to you. Or Target, I'll give it to you. Well played. And not gonna lie, I couldn't pull it off, but this shirt's kind of sick. I can't pull it off though. Is this a this squeaky toy? Ooh. You would have so much fun with that. Oh, it's got. Different different downs, that's great. Aww. That's like thick too. Alright Target, I'll give it to you. You've got some really cool Disney stuff. I follow a lot of like Disney lifestyle people on Instagram. Usually more it's aimed for girl stuff. But sometimes you see guy stuff too and they've always talked about how much cool stuff Target's been getting. They keep getting more and more of it. We have never got to go to one because we've been so busy on this road trip. So we figured we had time, we'd stop. I'm impressed. I'd buy stuff. But I'm trying to be good since we're on this road trip and not spend too much money because we're going to some places later where I'm probably going to want to. So we're having to wait on that, but so far with just the t-shirts and stuff, really impressive. We're going to see if we see anything else. We're just going to kind of wander around because we have like an hour and a half to kill. See if we see anything else. We might, we might not. But out of that stuff, there's definitely a t-shirt too I would totally buy if I could. No more Disney stuff at Target we could find. It was a more of a small Target. Like, I saw it a lot more than I expected. Like, in general, because I didn't know if every Target got the stuff or it was just random ones. It was cool to see more Disney stuff there. I feel like these vlogs need a little more Disney action. We haven't had a lot of Disney action going on in a while. But that was fun. But from here, I think we're going to go ahead and kill a little bit more time and then head over to the mini golf course. I'm excited to show you guys, and it's gonna be a really good time. But from here, we're just gonna kill a little bit of time. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I mean, we might find a mall that's around here to kill a little bit or something like that. Not exactly sure. We'll figure it out. All right, guys, update time. I'm just, I apologize that a lot of these videos that aren't like full dedicated vlogs, there's like update after update after update. It's just kind of how the, like the days are super busy. Like we're doing a lot. But I wanna spoil where we are for this video, but we're outside Chicago. I'll let you fill in the blanks, and if not, the video will come out in like two or three days. Just played no question the most unique and probably now my favorite mini golf courses ever seen ever seen so much fun so cool again they're gonna come out in the next couple days we did two of them i cannot wait for you guys to see it so cool i don't want to spoil it even though usually i give spoilers in the vlogs for other stuff but for this one it's gonna come out in like two or three days i don't want to spoil it yet but it's super cool super fun can't wait for you guys to check it out but now thanks to the owner of the place he recommended because we said we want to try some like chicago deep dish pizza we had one place, Giordano's, I believe is how you pronounce it, that like some of the guys from We As Human told me and said we should go check out on this trip. He recommended another place that's actually near here. This guy like, was like a, 
I think maybe possibly bigger or better. Like he seemed to like. Hey, well, I told him that name. He seemed to be more like you should try this one this instead. One, yeah. So we're gonna head there right now. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I saved it in my notes. It's called. I gotta find it. Lou Monetis, Monetis, Monetis. I don't know how you pronounce it. It sounds Italian and fancy. We're gonna go there and get some Chicago deep dish pizza, and I am super looking forward to that. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for about this. We actually got a menu when we came in. Deep dish pizza, it's going down, cannot wait. So this place is cool, we managed to get lucky. There's actually a decent amount of people in, but it's because two people, we were kind of in and out faster. They told us like 15, 25 minutes, but we sat down like immediately. But when we got in, it says every pizza on the menu, because they gave us a menu to look at it when we got here, it says every pizza is gonna take at least 25 or 30 minutes to cook. You should just hand me something. Chocolate chip pizza. A freshly baked chocolate chip cookie prepared in a deep dish pizza pan. Thank you. Top with vanilla bean. Oh. Girl, why you don't show me that? It's not right. I thought it would be a long. <laughs> We're going to come back to that in a second. But it's cool. When we got here, they're like, okay, here's a menu while you wait. But if you want to, you can actually go ahead and order your pizza before you get your table if you know what you're going to get. That way it's already in the kitchen and cooking, so by the time you get your table, we're gonna do it. As soon as we're gonna walk up to order, our table is ready. It's gonna be about 25, 30 minutes. But we both got, we got a small pizza because it serves two, and we don't know how exactly deep dish the deep dish pizza here is gonna be. We went all out. We just did cheese. Don't yell at us. Simple people. I'm a simple man. I like my cheese pizza. With the, it said world famous butter crust. We're gonna try that too. But we only got a small. It said it serves two. It said it's about the size of this plate, which is a, there's my hand for a comparison. Don't know how much food it's gonna be. And now we're gonna get back to it. We're going full circle now. If we're still hungry, we're, we're gonna cross this path when we get to it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Lisa's been working out a lot. She's been really adamant about it. We'll see though. We got the small. We'll see how it plays out. I also had a milkshake earlier at, uh, what was that place called? Portillo's? Yeah, Portillo's. But what we're saying on this trip is, at least what I'm saying, we're never gonna probably eat these places possibly ever again or for a really long time. If we're gonna go out, we might as well go out swinging. So we'll see if the big finale right here is either a hit or a miss. Cause I want it right now. But we'll see how full I am after we get this pizza. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You ready to try this? I think we need to get first bite on camera cause this might be real interesting. All right, Alicia, first bite of a real Chicago deep dish pizza. Good. <laughs> There's a lot, gonna be a lot of cheese on this bite. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. I'm gonna enjoy this now. Okay, I learned something tonight about myself. I know why people always ask, like, are you a deep dish person or are you a thin crust person? Because New York's at the thin crust. Like, which one are you? Thank you. Hey, that was really good. But people always ask, like, which one are you? I'm 100% a deep dish person. And I don't know what it was about the butter crust thing. It was like an extra 75 cents. And they said it was like world famous, like recommended. We did that. So good. What do you think? And for a little update about the uh, whole cookie thing, it was just enough food for us to be satisfied. And then she asked if we wanted dessert as soon as I was finishing my food. And I caved, and I said yes, and we got it, and it's got ice cream, it's got whipped cream, it's a chocolate chip cookie inside one of those things, I think, like the dish things. Might have been a bad decision. I did have a malt earlier, but you know what? I'm totally sure this. We're on this trip, we might never be back to Chicago ever again. You never know, we might not ever be back. Might as well try these cool local joints, what they're known for, what they recommend. Or I'll walk it off later, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy it. Plus, what we're doing tomorrow, which you guys will see in a few days, but tomorrow's actual vlog, we're probably gonna do a lot of walking. Okay, I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. This is not what I expected. Yeah, like my hand. Oh my gosh, like they said, doing whipped cream and ice cream. The cookie is way down there. It's all ice cream and whipped cream. We might finish all this, and if we survive, we'll see you afterwards, because I wasn't expecting this much. Okay, that was both a terrible and an amazing idea. We can't even finish it. It was so good. Oh my god. So, so good. So much. 
They said we could, you could, like, two people would split it. It said aimed like, three and four. Like, it's like a family, you all eat a little bit of it. I want to finish it, but I can't even finish it. But that was amazing. That was so good. I don't, I have nothing else to say. That was really, really good. We might come back to a place like this poorly. Oh my god, like, food coma. So many bad, but so many, so many good decisions were just made. That was so good. And yes, again, definitely a deep dish person. All right, BHV, that's gonna be the video for today. We're back at Airbnb. You can tell, I'm probably gonna do my outros if I remember, if I don't do them like where we are at the time, by this old clock, because I like this clock a lot. But I am exhausted. Today was super fun. Again, I cannot wait for you to see all the mini golf videos. It's like a secret surprise one that'll be coming in a few days. Cannot wait for you guys to check that out. But either way, guys, lot of stuff really fun coming your way. So I appreciate you sticking around for this road trip. We're only on day 11. And we have so many more days to go. We're like maybe a third into it. Just take that into account. We're like a third into the trip. And there's so much more fun stuff coming. So guys, take care. Have yourselves a good night. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the next video. Later.